Meat Boy is back. Today we are making egg drop soup, which originated in China to my understanding. I became familiar with egg drop soup through my parents. They used to always order Chinese food and I remember an iconic container of egg drop soup, plastic cork container, probably boiling, probably plastic chemicals leaching into the soup, but what are you gonna do? This is simple, quick, easy, very approachable, can be done for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it's truly minimal. You know, just eggs and chicken broth are the only ingredients you technically need, but I have a few things to add, some flavor, seasoning to it, some umami, and when I think of umami, which is the Japanese word for like fermented savory flavor, I'm thinking of this like submissive dude getting pegged by his girlfriend going like, ooh, mommy, ooh, mommy. <laughs> All right, so let, let's, let's take a look at the ingredients. Of course, we have chicken broth. I haven't been making my own broths lately. Uh, Store-bought is okay, not ideal. Uh, of course, you want organic and something that has a fat content to it as that is where the flavor is. This isn't technically 100% carnivore. You know, they use the classic mirepoix ingredients, carrot, onion, celery, uh, but this is good enough. I have three duck eggs from a local farm. You can use chicken eggs, but the important thing is that these are very high quality eggs. If you only have access to supermarket eggs, supermarket, uh, the best bet is probably organic omega-3 pasture raised. Those would be, you know, chickens that are getting fed some flax meal, with a little bit of forage access. If you really can, this is very important. Local farm, this is where most of the nutrients in this egg drop soup are coming from. You know, eggs have pretty much every vitamin, mineral element, and fatty acid our body needs. The only thing they're missing in a large amount would be iron, and sometimes the omega-6 is a little high if they're getting grains in their diet. The next big nutrient component isn't actually normally a part of an egg drop soup recipe. Here I have some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese that we are going to grate into the soup at the end to add some more flavor, more calories, and more nutrients. You know, raw grass-fed cheeses are very high in fat-soluble vitamins, very high in probiotic bacteria, incredibly good for you, one of the tastiest and, again, approachable foods. I picked this up at uh, Whole Foods for like two bucks. Uh, this is beef gelatin, and honestly, I don't recommend using something like this. You know, it's highly processed, but I wanted to try it out to see if it would thicken the stock. But, you know, $2 for a little tube of powder. I'd rather spend my money on other things. Nutrient-wise, this is adding nothing. I was assuming this might add some type of texture or flavor that's beneficial. Uh, here we have some fish sauce. Again, not a typical ingredient in egg drop soup. The only classic ingredients are chicken broth and eggs. This is fermented rotten anchovies, essentially, and it's really, really salty, really funky, rotten flavors. We add this to the soup. You're not really gonna taste it. It just adds more complexity to it. Uh, and of course, we have some salt to season this. Other optional things you can add, you know, would be like some scallions on top. You could throw some vegetables in the soup. But this is nice in a sense that an egg drop soup is naturally keto. It's naturally zero carb. So let's make it. Put my pot on high heat. There's four cups of chicken broth in here, so we're gonna use all of it. With four cups of stock, the recipe normally uses two eggs, but you can use three, four, five, you know, whatever satiates your appetite. I'm just gonna crack these into a cup. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the eggs. That's how we'll season this. I'll add about two tablespoons of fish sauce to the eggs as well. And we'll put this collagen powder nonsense into the pot. Mix this in, whisk these up. So we're gonna bring this stock to a boil and then we'll whisk in the eggs. If you wanna be a good little chef like Frankie Boy and be productive with your time, you can grate the cheese beforehand onto a paper towel or a plate or something. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano. Reggiano. Parmigiano. Reggiano. And the reason you want this to be boiling and not simmering is because when you start adding these eggs in, it's going to lower the temperature of this substantially. So we got this at a rolling boil. Now carefully with the eggs while we're stirring this, 
and burning our fingers. A nice, slow, steady stream of egg into the pot. This will evenly distribute the egg throughout the soup. It really starting to smell like egg drop soup. That's pretty much it. Turn the heat off. Take it off the heat. Pouring that slowly and stirring it is the key. You see we have the nice separated pieces of egg that are easy to eat. So now I'm just gonna put in a bunch of Parmigiano Reggiano. And you could really put a ton in this. You could probably put like a pound of cheese if you wanted to. If you wanted this to be like a super high calorie meal, you could. Hello camera people, this is my brother Frank. We have our official taste tester as you know. Hot, hot, bowl. The bowl's not that hot, you know. Just blow on it before you eat it. Ma, you wanna try this? Yeah, you always have the Chinese egg drop soup, right? Or is this dad eat it? Is that the one that likes it? Mm. Yeah, come try it. Creamy and delicious. Just like my mom used to make. Well, she didn't make it, she ordered it from. I have sarcasm. You know what's funny? All these Chinese restaurants, they, it's like the same name. It's called like Great Wall Chinese for some reason. I guess they have pride in their wall. Mm. So. Mm, we go too. Tell me, let me know how this compares to, uh, cause I, I don't think I've ever actually had regular egg drop soup. Can you explain how you made this? They already know how. They already watched me make it. They watched me make it for 10 minutes. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not the cook in the family. Well, I can tell you, if you look at the texture, it's really full of uh, egg and it's beautifully distributed with the broth. It has extreme amount of flavor, very good. A lot more egg than the regular egg drop soup, right? They usually yeah, don't put that much egg in it. Yeah, like you, you can't even see the broth. That's how full of egg it is. It's wonderful. You like it more or less? Oh, I definitely like it more. Excellent choice. I would advise trying to make this. So thank you guys for joining me. As always, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out my book on Amazon below. Leave me a review. You can also go to Frankie's Sea Range Meat for high quality animal foods, Frankie's Naturals for hygiene and cosmetic products, as well as frank sapanocom for fitness and nutrition consultations. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.